Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video today back on New York Giants franchise. Coming off of a victory that was very annoying over the Washington Redskins. But we managed to get it done. And it ended up looking like a blowout. We do have some upgrades before the episode really kicks off. Saquon Barkley will go in a power back. Just get his trucking up even higher. Don't really need to worry about him as a receiving back because he's already uh, a pretty good blocker. Or not block, receiver. Awareness goes up five, which does nothing for me. What is awareness up to? I don't even know. It doesn't matter. How old are you? 24 still? Yeah, I mean, like... What do you even do at that point? BJ Goodson, he's a decent run stop. How's your coverage? Terrible? Doesn't seem to matter anyway. We're going to go up in a run stopper. He's up to an 88 overall now with confidence, so not bad for him. DeMar Jacobs, the tight end. We really could focus on blocking, but I need him to be a, a better deep route runner, I think. So we're just going to work on vertical threat. Fits the scheme anyway. He goes up to an 85 overall. And uh, deep route running plus three is big. He gets some blocking there. Nothing crazy, all pass blocking. Trucking goes up, catching goes up too. So he's getting to become a very good player. Deep route running still low at a 72, but that's that's okay. And then Lawrence Thomas, great week last week with two sacks. 83 blocks at 89 power move. Let's continue to work on him as an interior pass rusher. He's having a great second year. Plus two block shed, plus one power move. That's pretty awesome. Only 22 years old, 85 block shed, 90 power moves to go with 90 uh, strength. So he's a beast, and the rest we don't really care about. I'm going to be honest with you, just don't. <laughs> and uh, let's hop into today's game against the 8-3 and three Atlanta Falcons. If last week was a pain, I mean, I can only imagine who this one's going to be like. Falcons Giants. Falcons, of course, have never won a Super Bowl. And the rain is coming down at MetLife in East Rutherford, New Jersey. And the Falcons, I mean, they got a pretty good record so far this year. Have them in the pretty insane-looking 1970s alternates. They look incredible, in my opinion. I like them a lot. Of course, you're going to have to let me know what you think down in the comment section below. As we are also in retro alternates. I want to start breaking out more of these for the series for opposing teams. I think that's going to be fun, of course. Some notable names to watch. J.W. Hilton starting at right guard for the injured Pone Gardner. Raekwon McMillan starting at middle linebacker for the injured Alex Espinoza. And of course, that is the playoff picture. Without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to start by kicking off. There's a lot of wind today. A lot of wind. And Tevin Coleman back deep. He's not going to get a chance. Devontae Freeman still the starting tailback here in season number four. As Matt Ryan going to throw over the middle. That's Calvin Ridley. Gain of nine to start things off. Got to look to shut that down today. Bengus Khan already about to lose his mind. It's really just a fantastic representation of me in a video game. Really is. Get inside. Pressure. Lawrence Thomas can't bring him down. Premature dive. It's going to bring up third and one. You got to think this is going to be a run right up the gut. To Devontae Freeman. And it's actually play action. Ryan with time finds Julio Jones. Let's take Sidney Jones off Julio and put Morris Dubose on him, please. We're also going to go pass rush aggressive for this game. So they might catch us off sides once or twice. But I think it's going to be worth it in the long run if we can get pressure on Matt Ryan. Force him to make bad throws. Let's hope we have a disciplined defensive line. Not jumping off sides. As Riley Ridley going to beat Sidney Jones. Seems like everyone who's on him will be. To run. We are notoriously incredible at shutting down the run. He just can't really do it on us. We'll give up you know, one or two 10 plus carries a game maybe. If they break one. But a lot of that's going to be less than a few yards every time. That may be being the exception. Gain of six. Let's blitz Ken Raymond. Third and five. Ridley in motion. Gonna have to cover a lot with Raekwon. 
That's an open receiver. How is he so open? Oh, you know what? Because I blitzed Kent Raymond, probably. Oh, yeah. That's a good answer. <laughs> okay. Get pressure inside. Great tackle by Landon Collins. They're going to use uh, lose a few on that one. Play action. Bring him down. Thank you. BJ Goodson ended up getting the sack. Roman Pugh was close. Going short. Julio, nowhere to go. They pick up six, but it's not good enough to get into the end zone. Good tackle by Derwin James. Atlanta going to settle for a field goal. They held the ball for half the first quarter, and it results in three points. Of course, when the rain comes down, it becomes tougher to throw the football. We certainly had our struggles last week, although no interceptions. Going to have to be on the back of Saquon Barkley. Good spin move. Doesn't quite have the breakaway speed after the move. Really, really good tackle there to save a touchdown. I think that was Desmond Trufant, and it was. Are they blitzing heavy here? They're not. Laletta slips and is sacked by Darius Phylon. Nice, man. Love that. And I get sacked again. Trent Brown brutalized by Vic Beasley. It's third and 26. Trent Brown is so bad, but I think it's the game, dude. Like, what would 99 pass block look like? He is 89 right now or something like that. Still terrible. Stepping up. Can we get that in there? We can. Sterling Shepard catches it. Holds on. 33-yard gain. There we go. Good block. Barkley spins back. Breaks a tackle, picks up another first, I think. Uh, we're going to lean heavy on him. He's looking good so far. Carlos Kershaw showing off some power. Everybody's running today. Offensive line, hard at work. Second and two, Barkley back in the game. Easy first down. Yeah, he's just going to be super explosive today. You can already tell. It's going to be a big game for Saquon. Wow. All right. They shut that one down pretty well. Tack McKinley and Grady Jarrett say, yeah, no way. Start of the second quarter now. We're looking to capitalize on our first possession with a touchdown. And Barkley has one easily. Easy score. The blocking's been great today. Far from what we had last game. <laughs> Saquon Barkley's serving up. To run... Oh, wow. Can't shut it down. Devontae Freeman falling forward. Dalvin Tomlinson, I think, is going to get credit for the tackle there. We were lucky that wasn't a huge gain. Third and two. Come on, defense. To run up the middle. Nowhere to go. B.J. Goodson shuts it down. Atlanta's going to punt. That's a great defensive stop. Oh, throwing under pressure. Finding Howard Russell. There we go. Love the playmaker feature every now and again. Wow, are you kidding? It's a great play by Grady Jarrett. We got Evan Ingram. Put it on the money! It is! Laletto beautiful! And Evan Ingram shows off the speed that few have had at tight end in NFL history. His fifth touchdown on the season, and we're going to go up 14-3. to What a ball from Laletta, and check out the finishing speed. From Evan Ingram. Isaiah Oliver couldn't catch him. Keanu Neal couldn't catch him. No safety help. Ricardo Allen couldn't catch him. Nobody. It's a run to Freeman. That's a good tackle. All right, let's let me plug this thing in. Let's play action. That's going to be wide open. Oh, they're going deep down the field. What is that? Oh my god, I switched on and it, it didn't lock. Brutal. My bad, I guess, but I've never had that happen before, ever. Would a ball hawk turn off? Now he, of course, Lorenzo Carter jumps off sides with aggressive pass rush. Wow. Let's play action, and down goes Matty Ice. It's Landon Collins. Going to the corner. Wow, that thing almost got kicked up in the air. 
and intercepted. Potentially good play by Sidney Jones to bat it out of the hands of the intended receiver. Third and four now. Oh, that's wide open. Uh, I thought that we were going to have a cornerback there. Or Landon Collins covering that. Kind of vacated the area. He ran a zig route. It was just wide open for some reason. I have no idea why. Like Landon Collins should have been right there. He played the, the corner or something. Going short. Good tackle by Lorenzo Carter. They pick up one. And they're knocking on the door for a score here. Don't want to allow any more. Freeman and Mo Are they running the same thing from the other side? Pretty much. You just flip the play. It's got to be a run, right? No, there's not. It's a pass. And it's out of the back of the end zone. Going for Calvin Ridley. Too deep. And Atlanta going to have to settle for another field goal try. This one uh, is probably the shortest field goal you're ever going to attempt. It is good, though. We're still in the lead. 14-6. Three and a half minutes before the half. Let's get some more on the board. What the? Third and eight now. This is the play we scored a touchdown on earlier. We just streaked Evan Ingram. And it's going to burn him again. Evan Ingram showcased the speed. <laughs> this time can't get into the end zone. But that play is uh, working like a beauty against cover three. Step up Laletta. We're going to run. Jesus, good pursuit. That's a big yikes. That's that's vicious. I mean, we've seen that happen so much this year, obviously, with the fumbles. Try to roll out and make the throw on the run, and of course, if you're trying to throw and you get touched, it is a fumble every single time. Unlucky. To draw. Play action. We're over the middle. It's unbelievable pass. Unbelievable to beat the user. Julio already has over 100 yards receiving. It's the second quarter. No one's on that. Thomas, get there! Rolls right out into Cameron Jordan. Roman Pugh also getting credit for a half sack. Third and 12. 30 seconds to go. I like how it took them absolutely no time to call the play from being on the ground. Literally took one second. Yeah, it takes them 10 seconds to snap the ball. They're going over the middle. Big hit by Raekwon McMillan. Good defensive stop after the stupid turnover. 15 seconds and three timeouts to score. This one likely going to go to a half. I mean... We do have some excellent jump ball receivers. Odell, Keenan Allen, Howard Russell. I think we're just going to run the ball, though. And it, depending on how good this run is, we'll, we'll make a decision after that. But I think we're probably going to go to the half. We have one second. We got some decent yardage. And I think Loletta might have the arm to throw it up into the end zone here. Actually, probably not. Probably not. He's going to have to throw it like 70 yards in the air. Doesn't matter because Trent Brown is the worst player in the league. I just, I need to go to his, I need to see his stats, dude. Or his attributes, I should say. What is your pass block? I need to see. It's an 87. We're going to move Trent Brown to right tackle for a minute. And for a minute, I mean the rest of the game. We're going to try Ryan Ramchick out at left tackle. Something's got to give, man. I'm tired of getting sacked relentlessly because Trent Brown can't block a child. We got these weird two tight end sets going on right now. And I don't really like any of them. So we're going to throw it away. I had a vision in my head that somehow they were going to beat the zone and be uh, two on one versus a safety. And we just pass lead to the open guy. Uh uh. I get sacked again. I'm just looking for something to get open, and it just doesn't. <laughs> Trent Brown just is the worst. I don't get it. 
That's what 87 pass block gets me. We're gonna go deep. Make the play, Keenan. Oh, did he just draw a DPI? He just drew defensive pass interference, but just running into him. That's a ridiculously bad call. <laughs> I'm for it. Oh my god, what is happening? That was almost incredible. That was almost insane. It's up to 69 yards on the day. Nice, but wow, that run was almost unbelievable. Should have been, too. We're going deep. Sterling Shepard, go up and get it! Sometimes you gotta take a shot. We got Odell. Dive and catch just short. It's gonna be fourth and one. I mean, you don't draft a running back, number two overall, to kick a long field goal through the rain and wind. Handoff goes to Barkley. <laughs> oh my god. That's great blocking on that one. To run. Julius Manning. Continuing an excellent season. Of just wrapping up. It's beautiful. He's done it again. I mean how can you not love it. Just consistent wrapping up. Tackle for loss. It's incredible. Ooh, Lorenzo Carter on Julio. Absolutely not. We're gonna have to change to a zone system here. No, we're gonna have to Ryan to trying a zone to run and then here. throwing uh, as far as he can to nobody. Ryan trying to run and then it's throwing an interesting call. Uh, as far as he can. All right, we cannot run in the second half apparently, at all. What? How is that an interception? I'm all right with an incomplete pass there, but you're telling me that's a pick? Evan Ingram was in front of him. Dude, I'm... I, I'm looking in the, in the backfield. I don't see anything here. This is covered. Safety and cornerback. This is also covered. Maybe could have fit that one in, but I already threw the ball by that point, so it didn't matter. This would have been covered as well. Safety, you could still play this. Still cornerback. So I look for my only other option, which is Evan Ingram versus a linebacker. I like it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just ridiculous. Good pressure. Roman Pugh gets it. I don't really even know what happened there. He just didn't get blocked, I guess. Starting to send a little bit more heat, though. To run, I'm all over it. Are you kidding? Fourth, they're gonna go. <sighs> really? It said to me that they were gonna go for it, but it looks like they're gonna try a kick. It's a really, really long one. I'm locked. I can't even move. And that was kind of close, wasn't it? I, th I think so. I can't even. I can't do anything. It really just is Trent Brown. He's just horrific. They they rush four. I can't even check down. It's it's insane. Oh, what a cutback by Saquon Barkley to find ten. Oh my God! Get out of the way. Lowering the shoulder on Ricardo Allen and dropping him. Third and one, we're gonna try to run up right up the middle. And we got it. Barely. I can't even throw it. That time it was Ramchek who let up the sack. I really don't have even two seconds in the pocket. It's it's pretty crazy. We're gonna throw that. Yeah. Yikes. That was tough. I mean, we're getting no separation again. Seems like the only thing that works in Madden 19 
is crossing routes. And you're going to see something here will be open. Based on what I like to do, it is third and 17. It's either going to be Evan Ingram or Odell Beckham Jr. Likely for a big game if we have time. And I don't have time. <laughs> Vic Beasley has four f sacks because this game is broken. That's Ryan Ramchek now at left tackle. Still can't block anything. And I maybe missed this too. Nah, I didn't, but still. It's an eight-point game. Falcons still very much in this one. Step in front of it! It's picked off by Julius Manning! Not a very likely ball hawk. But we switched on that time and got it. Usually great tackler this time. Big playmaker with the interception. Give me a second here. We're going to Odell. End zone. Nearly intercepted. Desmond Trufant has had perfect blanket coverage on Odell the entire game. I'm trying to get the ball to him any way I can. And I can't. There we go, though. Desmond Trufant is a pest. Odell, though, wide open. What is that? What is that animation? What is that? Odell, open. What do you mean? I don't, I don't get it. I literally do not understand how this keeps happening. I got to go into replay mode again. I know you... I call the timeout. I know you... I hate it when you go to replay mode. Stop complaining. Enjoy the broken game. Dude. No safety, right? I throw this post. That's... That's separation when the ball's coming out. Easy inside gain. Can, like, this has got to be something, dude. He's over the back of him before... It... I mean, like, what do you want me to do here? Use... Oh, great play by Desmond Trufant. He is draped over his back. Literally through his body. <laughs> when the ball's in the air. It's either defensive pass interference or... A... I don't know why, but that's... I'm just getting so sick of these ridiculous interceptions I'm throwing when I have inside leverage and they're somehow going through my players to get the interception. Like, that's a pretty crazy animation that I just got with Sidney Jones. One would say it's unrealistic and... I think I've, I have grounds to critique the game. I am an EA game changer. So I guess that's part of my uh, duty there. Is that... What is that? <laughs> separation. Clear separation. Pass is going to be pretty good. And he somehow... I, I know it was just an athletic play. Is it? Because you can see how he speeds up through the air to make that. That's not how it works. It's not how it works. I think it's a pretty ridiculous animation. You don't get faster as you leave your feet. <laughs> when you're in the air, you, you don't get a speed boost. He has no rocket thrusters in his cleats. Barkley, just sheer power. Great blocking as well. He's over 100 on the day. Barkley wide open. Let's cut up field. Decent spin move, gain of about 10. Keenan Allen wide open, there we go. He gets involved. It's hard to get the ball to all these receivers, man. So when you, I mean, especially with a running back, you can't get all these guys consistently involved. We have Sterling Shepard, Keenan Allen, Odell, Howard Russell, Evan Ingram, Saquon Barkley. And if Saquon's the focal point of the offense, which it'd be impossible to say he isn't, as we don't manage to get the first down there. And we will kick the field goal. I mean, you can't get the ball to six different playmakers consistently. Now, it's great to have them all. Because it makes our team better. Gives us options. But, I mean, like, Keenan Allen's probably having a career worse year. Even factoring in all those injured years. So, pretty brutal for him. But, if he wants to win a championship, seems like it's a pretty good spot. 
to draw. Just tackle him. Thank you. Devontae Freeman. I know he's small. He's like 5'8". He's trying to hide. But uh, Lorenzo Carter finds him. Thrown over the middle. Oh, my God. It's Calvin Ridley. He's just way faster than my entire defense. Wow. Love that. 66 yards to the end zone. They're going to go for two. I wish they'd run it. I mean, there's going to be nowhere to go. Are you stupid? I think so. There we go, Saquon. One man to beat. Wow, Ricardo Allen. Maybe should have tried to go through him, but I thought we'd be able to, be able to spin or juke him out. It's a good tackle. Wish we had an outside handoff here. No audible to one. We might just have to try and create it ourselves. Oh my goodness. Saquon is so much fun to use because we can do things exactly like that. Run around for some open area. Spin back. He didn't get the first. Yeah, yeah. Review that, please. We're going to skip it. I already know the result. It's a first down. I think pretty clearly. <laughs> what do you mean, short? Second and 10. Atlanta has one timeout yet, or left. I don't know how Dion Jones made that tackle, even when I clicked spin and it didn't spin. We will be running the ball, I think, here. I mean, we could ice it with a first down, but we have a decent chance to do that with Saquon on the run, so we're going to try it. Spin back, broke a tackle. They just read it too well. That's all right. A lot of times seem to take off. Atlanta's going to have a minute to try and score. It's better than throwing an interception. I can tell you that much. It's better than stopping the clock, giving him a minute and a half to work with with no timeouts. You guys know I'm an excellent punter. Probably going to pin him. I don't know. Let's play conservative here. Inside the three. <laughs> That's what I do. I mean, it's a beauty. No, it's a touchback. What? Oh, my God. No way. How much did I miss this by? This had to have been so close. No. Oh, man. I missed it by... Let's see. I missed it by like a foot. That's real tough. <laughs> I have a reputation to uphold about excellent punting. That's just that's just a real a real shame. What else do you say? Let's go, baby. Roman Pugh again. Two and a half sacks on the day. And you know, say what you will. You know, maybe you say some of these pro players are the best offense, best defense. As they're gonna spike it. This guy's got the best blitz. This guy's the best user. I am the best punter on YouTube in Madden, and I don't want to hear anything about it. Now, no one no one wants that title, I'm sure, but it's mine, and I'm going to wear it proudly. Third and 17. Lobbing it up. Why is that doing that? It happened again with Morris Dubose. It didn't happen with Julius Manning. That should be an easy interception. I, I, I don't understand what's happening with that BS. That should be game over. Now they have a really good chance to score. What is happening with that? It's running me off the ball. Even when I switch on and I'm not clicking anything. I'm not clicking hold forward. Probably just another glitch with the patch. Or a new update. Third and ten. They are in take a deep shot mode. And I am in get after a mode. They're throwing really quickly. Oh, nearly intercepted off a bunch of tips. I don't get why the CPU does that. And I'll see what I can do next time I go down to EA. And I'm, I, Maybe they do know about this. Maybe they don't. Maybe they don't care. The CPU in these spots throws line drive laser beams and essentially ends the game. There, they're lobbing it up. And that is, geez, nearly caught, but incomplete. And your game's over. And the clock strikes triple zeros. The Falcons have lost in a really close game. I mean, that one came right down to the wire. A lot of BS to put them in that position, in my opinion, obviously. 
Roman Pugh had a great game. Saquon was great, 120 yards on the ground. And overall, we continue to struggle offensively. Defense played better than they did last week in this game. I like to see that. But some of those interceptions just really, really rubbed me the wrong way. And I didn't get a screenshot. Okay. I have to figure out what to do with that one. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.